Hey Sedum, welcome back. We're in week two, episode four of our daily video. All right, Sedum, so last week we went over Vincent Van Gogh and his Starry Night and also his Sunflowers. This week I want to discuss an artist named Beth Merceau, who was actually alive and around at the same time as Vincent Van Gogh. This is actually a portrait of Beth Merceau by Manet. And she was part of a group called the French Impressionists. The Impressionists preferred to paint normal, ordinary things, like maybe a landscape, which is a painting of outside, or maybe sometimes a seascape, which is a painting in the water, right? And maybe they just wanted to paint someone around them, like maybe mom or dad or a sister or a brother, or maybe even their daughter or their son. There were very, very few women artists during this time. Most of the artists during the Impressionistic era and even further on were mostly men. So if you were a woman of that time and you were an artist and you were succeeding, you were super, super special. All right, set them in just a moment. I'm gonna switch the screen and we're gonna get to see some of Beth Marceau's artwork. During this time, don't forget, if you have somebody around you and you wanna share out and maybe do a little table talk, do so. Because remember, I wanna pretend like we are still in the classroom. All right, here we go. All right, so here we have a self-portrait of Beth Morso. Now remember, self-portraits are artworks that look like the artist that are made by the artist. In the next painting, we have a painting, of course, by Beth Morso called Women Picking Fruit. Notice the color palette in this painting. I'm gonna to go to the complementary color wheel. Now look, complementary colors are always across from each other. Blue and orange, yellow and purple, red and green. If we go back to that women picking fruit, blue and orange are the complementary colors that she chose to show contrast in this painting. The next work we have by Beth Marceau is Sister Edna and Daughter. So this is a really quick watercolor by Beth Marceau. In the next painting, we actually have Sister Edna again in the park. I'm going to revisit the complementary color wheel again because again, I want to look at my complementary color pairs and see which one she used. Was it red and green, purple and yellow, or blue and orange? Let's zoom back into that painting and see. It is red and green, right? All right, and now we're gonna look at another painting that is actually a seascape. And I'm trying to look and see if I can guess the complementary color pairs that are in here. Is it green and red, purple and yellow, or blue and orange? Which one do y'all think it is? Let's go back and look. It is orange and blue, right? So she uses a lot of complementary colors. Right, so we got to see some of Beth Marceau's artworks. What kind of artworks did we really see though? I think we got to see maybe a self-portrait, which is an artwork of yourself that is made by yourself, right? And we also got to see a portrait, which is a painting of someone that is made by an artist, not yourself, big difference. And then we also got to see a seascape. And a seascape is a painting of usually a body of water, which means the ocean or the sea. I think we also took notice that Beth Marceau, in some of her other artworks, she used and also played around with a little bit of complementary colors, which were colors that were put together to pop and show contrast. And we also talked about that last week in our video with Van Gogh. All right, set him. So this brings us to the end of the video. I'm gonna link two links below this video for you to follow. It's two videos by Maddie and Dada. Maddie and Dada like to talk about different artists. The first link is gonna be with Van Gogh and the second link is gonna be with Beth Marceau. All right, finally, last but not least, don't forget to finish your activity log. You're actually gonna get one extra day to finish your activity log. So instead of Friday, it's now going to be Saturday. So you get to finish your log by Saturday and we're actually gonna be calling it your art exit ticket. And you'll also even be having like a music exit ticket and also a PE exit ticket. So they'll all be called the same thing. And don't forget, they're going to be finished by when? Saturday, right. So Sedum, I'll see you tomorrow in our next daily video. Have a great day.